everybody. We're just welcoming you on the broadcast. We're so excited. I got Jody Ferguson here from Warrior's Heart. We're going to be speaking to you about dreams. We can't wait to share the information that the Lord has given us to be able to just teach you um, revelation about dreams. He actually gave me very specific downloads and Jody as well. And he said this was his webinar. Isn't that exciting, Jody? <laughs> right. Hi, everybody. Yeah, we're excited to to do this dream interpretation webinar together. And so, go ahead, April. It, it it was just something the Holy Spirit. I just like to always give you the backdrop of what the Holy Spirit's doing, and I'm just fixing the comments real quick. But the Holy Spirit placed it in my heart, and he, and he told me about me and Jody doing this together. And it's because He wants to take you to a new realm of intimacy. So we're going to cover, um, I, I would say the dream realm is a layer by layer communication with God. And so we're going to cover the basics on the very first webinar. And then over time, we're going to unpeel the layers and we're just going to give you a little bit more depth because I know it's when you first begin starting a new language with God, it has to be cultivated and it takes time to cultivate and get into that deeper level. So I would say, don't get discouraged if it's like, oh my gosh, this is all new to me. Or if you're a veteran, I believe God's going to do something amazing and it's just going to be a new realm for you. And I'm so excited about what God's going to do in your life. Isn't it right, Jody? <laughs> yeah, we're super excited. Yeah. So April, I'm sure, um, this class is about just the basics, what the Bible says about dreams. And we're going to go through, this is October or August 29th, and we're going to go through September 19th, so four weeks. So we're excited to unlayer, like you said, all of the different topics. Yes. Kamika's saying, hey, my mom's logging on. Hey, guys. I'm so excited to be able to teach you guys we're going to dive into it in just a minute we'll start getting into the meat it just gives it has to have a little bit of time for everybody to log in and be able to um talk to us right click over there. anybody no click on the dream interpretation get that all the way to the left all right we're just getting the getting your comments to come in yeah, it's nice to have in-house technical support. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just release your glory over everybody watching right now Bell, as they you? log in. Okay, what are, you, what are you doing? Your comments are not coming up, so I'm just figuring out. Well, they're coming up here. Okay. But the names are on there, so go ahead and hit your Facebook. Go into your dream folder right there, and then it should be dream, very first 10. All right. Okay. We're going to have your comments right, in just down. a second. Well, it's oh, on there. there we go. Oh, Valerie Rich. Right. Hey, now I can see your comments. Really? Sorry, guys. Well, <laughs> you, you could actually see it over here, but you can't see who's doing it. Okay. So Valerie's on here. Sherry's on here. Kamika's on here. I'm just giving you guys a few more minutes to log in. We'll have plenty of time to cover it. all the information technical difficulties but we got them fixed i just want to say who was saying what to me so if you have any questions and we do not get to it during the webinar that um man i just feel the holy spirit that that me and jody just email them to us if i don't have your email i'm going to post me and jody's email in the group page at the end of this webinar and allow you to email either one of us that way, if you have any certain questions or everybody just send your email address to me and I can forward it to Jody. That might work a little better. That way I'll have I have mostly everybody's email. I just want to double check and, and verify with I know we have some new people. Hey, y'all. All right. <laughs> Exciting stuff. So me and Jody have already prayed. I'm going to pray again. I see a few people are still logging in, but I want to make sure you guys get everything that the Lord has for you. He gave us very, uh, I just feel drunk on the Holy Spirit right now. <laughs> so I just released the power of the Holy Spirit over everybody watching right now. I just released the glory of the Holy Spirit, that yeah. your presence, Papa, that your presence will invade their living room right now. Whoa. I just thank you for no distractions. 
no distractions over their mind. I just find and shut down any distractions. And I thank you, you open this new level to them right now. I just declare that in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> All right, so me and Jody are going to go over some of the things that the Lord shared, um, some very specific topics on the first question, what does the Bible say about dreams? This is something that I have, I see a lot of confusion about in the body of Christ. What about you, Jody? Definitely, yes. And it's like people just need to be, they need to be taught and have clarity. And that's where the Lord really wanted me to give you some revelatory information for you to be able to understand why does God communicate through dreams? <laughs> so you must, the first key that the Lord gave me is you need to understand that dreams are a revelatory gift of God. That that's actually his revelation is the basic understanding that, that opens up the door for you to get into another level of communication with him. Just like, a, he, and the Lord showed me the Holy Spirit as I was writing this. He said, just like a word of wisdom or a word of knowledge, it is just as important as a prophetic word because it's God speaking directly to you in your dream realm. Um, revelation means, he had me look this up, a surprising and previous, previously unknown fact, especially one that is made known in a dramatic way. So, to, so really think about what revelation means, a surprising and previously unknown fact, especially one that is made known in a dramatic way. And so usually dreams have to be interpreted, right, Jody? Right. Most so, of the time. <laughs> yeah, most of the time they have to be interpreted and it, it they're not always literary meanings of exactly what happened in the dream. So you allow yourself to be able to dig into the realm to be able to unlock the mysteries and the gems that God has given you. I love the synonyms. The Holy Spirit says synonyms. Think about this in your dream life. It's a disclosure. It's a surprise. It's a fact. It's a report and an announcement. So you can almost look at your dreams as synonyms, disclosure, disclosures, surprises, facts, reports, or announcements. And I'm sure there's sometimes you felt like that, Jody. Yeah, that is so good. Um, I do love that, those little, the puzzles and, and all the different facets of dream interpretation. So I love that revelatory realm. Good stuff, April. I know uh, the Lord just kept bringing on up to me. Some of you guys are not familiar with the spirit of revelation and, and this is like foundational. So I'm really just giving you the basic foundations in Isaiah 11, one through two. If you have your Bible, you can turn to Isaiah 11, one through two. And it talks about the seven spirits of God and, and it's a gift from him. There's a spirit of wisdom, a spirit of understanding, a spirit of counsel, a spirit of might, a spirit of knowledge, a spirit of the fear of the Lord. And then one of them is actually referred to as the spirit of the Lord. And obviously this revelatory realm that we're going to impart to you and pray for you at the end of this webinar has to do with the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understandings of the spirit realm who God is. It's an understanding of partnering with the spirits of God to communicate with God effectively. I know God has spoke to me in many ways that were personal as well as Jody to, to reveal hidden things that we, I would have not otherwise received or understood. Has that happened to you, Jody? Yeah, definitely. Um, we need that that revelation from God for sure to understand what he's saying. And I think he does that on purpose, right? Mm -hmm. Because we're what? In a relationship with Papa. That's right. You know? And God is God. He doesn't just communicate one way. That's the main thing that that, that is, as long as I've walked with the Lord and the closer you get to Papa, he communicates through multiple, multiple, multiple. I think every time you figure out a way he communicates, he switches it. <laughs> For sure. 
and dreams are such a personal thing because you know god's actually using all of our experiences and the things around us like he knows like what's our favorite movie all those different things right right hey angie glad angie's on we're just going over the basics um what the holy spirit just really wanted you guys to get a strong hey sylvia how are you um just get a strong foundation and expectation. So we've talked about dreams are a revelatory realm of God, the seven spirits of God. They're, they're like little surprises unlocked. And <laughs> I, I just, I just see, you know, you think about those, those movies when you were a kid, like Peter Pan, like all these dreams. And, and yes, there's a magical element to that, but it's truly is a, it's a place of intimacy. And I just felt the father's heart as I was preparing for this webinar, I felt his excitement. Mm -hmm. Because he's he's just going to communicate to them and new levels and new and new areas that some of you guys this this just clicked in your mind so you that God can communicate through dreams and that's what he's building this foundation on. Jody, when when did you first realize that God started uh, speaking to you through dreams? I'll just you tell know. about your basic start. Yeah, I took um, some classes probably when I was taking classes through Global Awakening, like, you know, three and a half years ago. I always, I had dreams and I, I did like to write them down and looked at them kind of like parables. Um, but I took some classes and really learned a lot about dream interpretation. And I've also had a few um, prophetic words that you're going to interpret dreams, you're going to dream dreams, and it'll even be um, evangelistic. So just like in the last probably three and a half years, I've really been extremely like just excited about that method of communication from the father. So it became evident to you really quick that God, once you God opened that revelatory idea in your mind, Hey, this is God speaking to me. Yeah. And I think like what God was showing me and you mentioned it a little bit earlier is that, you know, that he wants to communicate with us. And he was even telling me, Hey, um, it's not your dreams. It's my dreams. Like I'm trying to share my heart with you. And even, you know, the webinar, it's not, this isn't your webinar. It's my webinar. God's so excited that he's like, I'm, I'm here. And I want to tell you my heart. And then yeah. out of your love and devotion for me, you're going to be, you're going to be listening and you're going to be intent on the secrets that I'm sharing with you through the night seasons, through your dream life. I, th I think it's the heart of the father to communicate to us whatever whatever way we can perceive it. You know, yeah. that as I get more in depth in, in the teaching that God has for tonight, he doesn't care. He just wants you to receive as much communication with him as possible. Because that's who he is. You know, that that that's we're his children. It, it really boils down. That's what he kept bringing up to me over this webinar. Y'all are my children. Hmm. you know just just feel the love of that i just release that right now because i just feel it in the atmosphere so i just release the father's love right now hmm. you just feel the overwhelming sense that you are a child of god but it just invade and shift the whole atmosphere of your home wow. the love of the father just invade 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 thank you holy spirit so one of the one of the keys that I, I love that God was showing me when when asking the Holy Spirit, OK, where do you want me to start with teaching them with this webinar? He said the key to greatness. This is the word the Holy Spirit gave me for you guys. The key to greatness is identity and all of your senses need to be surrendered to God. So that's a little bit different. That's good. Angie said it's probably easier for him to communicate to me through dreams because my mind is turned off. Amen. That's one of the things we'll talk about as well. But he he wants you to understand. Some of you guys understand all this, but but I'm just building a foundation. We're just building a foundation. Dreams I put is the spiritual sense of sight, but you also have spiritual eyes, which is dreams, spiritual ears. You have spiritual touch, spiritual taste spiritual smell and i love what james gall i always have to refer back to it is your knower <laughs> I, I call that like the seventh sense of the body because when you know that you know that you know something nobody can talk you out of it have you experienced that one jody the knower i definitely experienced the knower and one time i even had the touch like i woke up 
I had a dream and I heard God say it was the scripture in um, Isaiah about a new behold. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? And I felt like a touch on my forehead. I mean, that was different, right? <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> And, and I felt as touch the other night, um, I was just praying about something that was very intimate with my heart. And I was just interceding. If you ever go to that deep place of intercession for people that you love and you care about, I just felt the presence of the Lord just touched me just like a thick glory cloud. And it was just like, it's going to be okay. And I, I would say that's definitely a touch. And um, for, for people that want to explore this, like this is all new to you. Cause I know we have some veterans on here. There's a book by Patricia King on spiritual senses. And I highly recommend it because I read it when I first started out in this, just to understand. Cause sometimes I will actually taste honey in my mouth. I will taste, you know, roses in my mouth. And, and, and unfortunately, you know, discernment goes with dreams, I believe. It's just because you you will talk more in depth about the different types of dreams that you will have, but I actually can taste demonic things as well. Like if you're standing next to somebody and you just taste this huge cigarette smoke in your mouth, but nobody's smoking, that's a good sign that there's probably something icky next to you. <laughs> Not that you don't have to love them, but that something you're just discerning. And I think um, I say discernment would fall in the category where it switches from. Cause I'm just picking up. There's some discerners on here mm -hmm. and sometimes you're picking up things that you don't really understand because you're switch, switching from the spiritual sense of you feel somebody's emotions in the room or you're smelling something or you're just sensing something with your ears. And it, it's actually kind of like your knower, your discernment gifts. So just grab that for who that word is that I just see God maturing people and uh, I just bless their discerner gifts right now. Jody knows I just I just flow with whatever Holy Spirit wants to do in this webinar. So for the people that had the discernment gift, I just whoa, I just declare increase over you right now that you will have clarity on your knower realm, clarity over your sight, sense, smell, touch, because it's going to help you to move in a relationship as we were talking about the key to greatness, the key to greatness is identity and identity opens up the dream realm and all of your senses so i just sense a lot of people on this webinar are going to the next level are you picking up anything jody that's good yeah amen that's awesome and that's what we want right we all want to go higher yeah i i just he's responding to your hunger is what he's showing me so um <laughs> just get ready. <laughs> Papa's got good things for you. And I know that the one thing he really asked um, you guys to just pray during this course, I really felt this specific verse for this course. So you could write it down. You could post it on your refrigerator, do it in your car. Ephesians 118. I'm just going to pray this over you as I read it to you guys, because I think it needs to be declared over you guys so you can um, move to the next level. So. You can just relax, close your eyes, you know, do whatever you want to do. Keep them open. It's up to you. But I'm just going to speak this into your life. So Papa, over everybody that that's sewed into this webinar because they're hungry for you. Whoa. I just declare your blessings over them. We just come in agreement. Me and Jody, we just declare Ephesians 118 that the eyes of their understanding will be enlightened, that they may know the hope of their calling. Thank you, Lord. And that the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, that you just open this up to them. This verse will just be made so real during these four weeks, Papa, that they will just go to a new level of intimacy with you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. I just felt a huge wave of glory. Thank you, Papa. Keep it coming. <laughs> so we just say, um, continue to just step out, challenge the Lord on that verse. That was the specific verse he gave me for you guys, because he's going to open up uh, another level for you guys. Um, so questions you may ask. This is some of the questions that I've gotten. Jody, feel free to, to share your the questions that you got. Who dreams? Isn't that a common question? Have you ever been asked that one, Jody? 
Who dreams? Do you yeah. have? <laughs> yeah. Dreams. Yeah. And then also um, the other one is who has the interpretation? Ah, yeah. So these are common questions that have went unanswered by the church. Yeah. Do all dreams need interpretation? We talked about that a little bit earlier. Yeah. And we'll be diving into strategies about interpretation. But the Lord wanted me to go and answer this main question. Who mm -hmm. dreams? Everyone does. Yeah. Saved or unsaved. He, God is speaking. He's talking to everyone. But yet we have to perceive it. We have to perceive it. And, and that is why Holy Spirit really wanted me to do this webinar because he wants to take you to such a deep place and being able to perceive this level of communication. Um, I love John Paul Jackson, like you were talking about earlier, Jody. He's uh -huh. one of my one of my favorite, you know, ministers that passed away, unfortunately. But he actually had a large street evangelism. He would go into the um, just what areas, big cities, downtown streets, markets. He actually, I think, even may have had a shop at one point where he would do outreach, like you said, Jody, just to interpret dreams of people on the street. Yeah, so, like you said, it's a it's a powerful witness tool. Yeah, that's great. I love that. So when you're saying like who dreams, you know, another great question along with that, April, is does everyone remember their dreams? Or like you asked people, do you ever dream? And some people just say, nope. Yeah. Yeah. But it's you just don't remember. You're dreaming, yeah. but you might not remember your dreams, right? Yes. And I've actually seen we're going to we're going to pray some of that at the end. I've actually seen people's dreams be blocked uh, by demonic influences just because. Why would Satan want your dream language to be open if it's a God-given gift of communication? Unfortunately, I've known people where that area has just been blocked by different things so that they can't walk in the new intimacy level. And we're going to break all that. So if that's you, don't stress. We're going to break it all. And God's going to give you your dream life back. And there's going to be recompense for there. anything, any dreams the enemy has stolen. We're going to be believing for a whole new level for you guys. Um, <laughs> interpreting dreams is powerful ministry tool, but it's also a great communication tool with the father. As, has there been times, Jody, where you just had a dream and you've just you've sat down and you've written it out? And it, did it did it get you into a deeper dialogue with the father? Yeah, and some of them, um, sometimes because I do like to journal, like you've talked about and write everything down. So sitting down like in my quiet time and actually writing it out, I really get excited about that actually. So I can't wait to sit down with Papa and look things up and pray them through. And he, he speaks to me and we have a closer relationship because of that level of communication. And I think it also takes... Um, just that honor that this is a method God's speaking to me. So I want every single word, right? We want every word. And we know you guys want every word that Papa's speaking. And we want those to um, be received. And, and he wants us out of the devotion of our heart to be able to hear and receive all of the communication um, that he's giving to us. So I really look at that as a privilege. I love it when I have a dream. Um, I don't, April dreams a lot more than me. Um, I might dream every week or two, but they're very significant, you know, dreams. So April, you dream a lot more, right? <laughs> sometimes I have up to three dreams in one night. <laughs> and sometimes it's just one or two, but he does speak a lot and, and that's okay. It can be either or, you know, it could be an abundance of dreams, the season I am. And some of it has to do with, with uh, the gifts that God's given me. But even those dreams that you're having once or twice a week, they're very important, correct? Yeah, and I, I highly value that. So, I mean, sometimes we talked a little about some dreams. They don't really need a lot of interpretation. They're pretty, it's pretty easy to understand. I actually like the puzzle. You know, God talks to me like that, and he talks in language that I understand. And that's the, the challenge, and we'll get into that more later about dream interpretation is, I, I don't see through your eyes. I don't know what, like I said, what movies you've seen or what things are dirty or hard or little 
cliche words that God might use, but he uses those with me. And then I'm able to, um, to go ahead and look at those and, and then watch the next, like maybe a couple of weeks and someone will say something and I'll be like, Oh my gosh, that's because of my dream. I dreamed about that. So mm-hmm. I love this ongoing dialogue. That's why I love it when I have a dream and, you know, writing it down and being able to just kind of mull on it and see what God is saying. So one of the strategies that I'm hearing you say you use is you digest it like little morsels. Exactly. That's so good. Yeah. Like little breadcrumbs. I think, you know, we talk about like the king's table, right? Yes. Like right. King's table. Yeah. And leading me closer to, you know, the father's heart, because if they're, again, if it's his dreams and yeah. he's communicating his heart to us, of course, yeah. there's different types of dreams, and we'll talk more about that. But if they're God dreams and he's communicating to me, I mean, it's like a, a pass, and I want to grab the ball and, and make a touchdown and kind of fully receive, you know, what he is, what he's saying. And that's, that's how I knew that the Holy Spirit wanted, wanted me to co-teach with Jody because I know her as a person, but I also know the gift that God has placed on her life. But when you honor your dreams... It's kind of like that verse the Lord showed me. It's like the verse. I reward those who diligently seek me. So when you put his dreams in a place of honor, he's going to speak to you more and more through it. Because he's like, hey, I can trust that they're going to understand what I'm saying. They're not just going to throw it away and be like, oh, well, no big deal. I just, you know, because why would he keep he, he will be diligent and, and reaching his children. But there's a limitation because you're not able to understand what he's saying when there's no honor placed on it. Because how many people probably have been on here? I know when I was in church, they definitely did not teach that God spoke through dreams no. in any way, shape or form. <laughs> Yeah, in fact, it's kind of derogatory, even in a lot of the, like, if you look in the dictionary, I looked in the, you know, yes. biblical dream interpretation, but if you look in the dictionary, it's kind of derogatory. It's kind of like, post you as a little bit of like a dreamer or a slacker. It's kind of synonymous. And that's not God's heart, right? That's not God's heart. God created, created us to be creative. And I, I believe people that are very creative as well, that they dream a lot. I'm not saying that everybody can't dream a lot, but but especially for creative people, they're not slackers. That's their main communication with God, you yeah. know. And and I know that that God is ready to help you unlock. I just see an unlocking taking place with things He's trying to communicate to you. So I do. Um, we're gonna go and share books toward closer toward the end, but. I, I know we're unlocking this one layer at a time, but don't go online. If you don't have any dream interpretation books, I would highly recommend not to go online and search it. <laughs> I stood out and did that the other day. And there were so many occultic dream interpretations because remember the dream realm is God's and all these occults have tried. They have all these um, forfeited stuff because they're trying to copy what's real. So So God is the ultimate dream interpreter, but they have their spin on it. So if you look at anything on the web, most of the time I've seen some weird stuff. (laughs) So we will definitely share that information with you. But but God wants us to go over and set the foundation of totally steady. He's raising your faith to understand the level of communication he's opening up for you. Yeah, absolutely. I even, I remember one time looking up something and I actually heard the Lord say, be careful daughter. It mm-hmm. was like a caution, like, do not, do not go there. And then I was real careful. I have a lot of dream interpretation books, which you know, and, and again, we'll talk about that later, but because yeah. God was warned me specifically, be careful, don't go there. Yeah. Yeah. I have a quote from um, Ruth Heflin. Your husband would love this April. <laughs> Uh, I love to read that one. <laughs> from the book Revelation Glory. She Amen. Said, God wants to give us pictures to go with the words he's speaking to us. One of the reasons God speaks to us in visions and dreams is similar to the reason he spoke to his disciples in parables. The pictures help us understand what he's saying. So I thought that was really good. Like he, those little parables, it's just like that. He's communicating today like he did to his disciples in dreams so good and i would say i'm a visual visual learner 
so dreams you know a lot of you guys know who did my seer webinar his dreams matter to me visually i can understand so much quicker because you in your dreams how many of you guys know sometimes the scenes just unfold and fold and fold and fold and and some reason for me and just how i'm wired it's just easier mm -hmm. to see that visual representation of what he's trying to teach me yeah i love that and i've had times when i'm dreaming and i write down specifically like they say you know look at color not color what your position is you know so i'll write everything down amen amen well i, I just wanted to continue to give you a foundation for your expectation and i just wanted to show you guys this is going to build on your on your faith level and, and most people would ask you might say okay show me in the bible where God gave a dream to a heathen. Well, I, there was a couple instances that where God actually gave dreams to people that were just, I mean, he's, I was sharing this with my husband because, you know, we just walk, we, most people know we're in the, we're in the same mantles and we, we just throw stuff, you know, we're just filled with Holy Ghost. So Holy Ghost bounce stuff off. And when I was talking to my husband about this, we were just casually discussing, you know, the different, people in the Bible that God spoke about dreams and Nebuchadnezzar, he was not a good dude. <laughs> you know, I mean, there for a season, you know, he was a Babylonian king. He actually spoke, the Lord spoke to my husband and said he was a heathen. There was nothing good. He worshiped idols, many idols. I mean, if you look at, at the Babylon system back there, I mean, they opposed everything about God. I mean, he was a king. It wasn't like he didn't worship money. He didn't worship, you know, women and all the and all the different because we all know the idols in the word. There was a lot of um, sexual demonic things. But um, and Jeremiah 4, 7, Nebuchadnezzar was called a destroyer of the nations. Oh, wow. So I'm saying like that's the picture that God was showing me. I can speak to heathens. And in third world countries, I mean, if Nebuchadnezzar was a called a destroyer of the nations, if you're a missionary or you're going overseas, God can speak to that kingdom of Africa or Asia. And he might use you in this gift of interpretation because look, it, it, it's, it's God communicating to them, whether it was a warning to repent, whether whatever message that God saw valuable to them. I mean, at one point, um, a deliverance minister that's well known, I, I won't say his name, said that he was even, God even showed him that Nebuchadnezzar became schizophrenic because of disobedience, that he just, when the word says he went into madness. So I would say that's a pretty disobedient person, but yet God still chose to speak to him through dreams. And I'm like, wow, God, I just, I just had to think about that. You know, not just as children as God, but to just set the bar of, okay, God's no respecter person. He's speaking, he's speaking to heathens. He's speaking to, to his children alike because he wants to speak. He wants to reach them. He still cared for Nebuchadnezzar. Right. You know, he still cared for the unlovely, even in his worst point. It said, um, actually, the, when you look up Nebuchadnezzar in, in the Islamic text, he was known to be a strong conqueror and a force. So that, that was just God showing me, wow, you know, um, he's shown me that how much more if he's willing to speak to the heathens of the nature, if we are children, you know, at an intimate place in his heart and he, he wants to, to reach us to different, um, he calls everyone to himself, amen. If he wants to reach us into a place of intimacy, how much more, if he can speak to the heathen, will he be willing to open up a high level communication through dreams? That's good. That's good. So what does this mean for you as a believer? If God can speak to Nebuchadnezzar and he wasn't the only heathen that God warned. I mean, I will give some verses um, later on in the text. I just didn't want to take up the whole class reading you verses because I know that would be a drag, but God, it would not be fun for you to hear all those voices, but verses, but I, I looked up different. Um, you can Google search this one. This one was safe. If you guys really want to do your own, or you can actually use the concordance. If you use the word dream, it's in the Bible all over from Genesis 
all the way through and you would be shocked one one um manual said it was mentioned 33 times in genesis 27 in daniel and eight times in the new testament and, and i'm going to go over some of those scriptures but can you believe how that god was able to speak to them and be able to bring change even to demonic demonic kings god was able to bring change to the situation situation through a simple dream and i think that stretches i think that stretches people on how they allow themselves to be able to open up and say okay god what are you speaking to me it's just that that surrender point you know because nebuchadnezzar could have you know not been obedient not sought out the interpretation you know it, it's our it's it's our responsibility he god does his part but just by taking this webinar you're stepping out and you're taking responsibility to say okay god i realize you're speaking to me through dreams so i'm going to study this and i'm going to learn to communicate to you through this way and then i'm going to surrender god's just show me just as a place of surrender is how you interpret it, dreams even if it's something we'll talk about the different types of dreams that you have but even if it's something that you not necessarily would want to know but god knows you need to know that's how how good he is like a father right jody you yeah, know <laughs> a father tells us stuff sometimes we don't want to hear <laughs> i've had those kind of dreams yeah yep. about my, usually where it's like I, re I really didn't really want to know that god but now i'm gonna pray <laughs> yeah now we're gonna pray and we're his children and he loves to be able to call us into a place of protection i i i know we're going to talk about the different uh dreams but i have got a lot of protection dreams and i, I just feel so safe mm -hmm. so good. safe it, it just makes me feel safe as a daughter when when papa shows me what's coming you know so i can just intercede especially for people you love i'm having a lot of dreams about family members which we'll talk about that doesn't always necessarily have to be a family member but sometimes it is and i think you just know when it is somebody close by when it's a literal dream versus interpretation one yeah and that's good like instead of being afraid or worrying about it you're looking at it like you know thank you god because again he's sharing his heart with us mm -hmm. you know so we have to activate we have to start praying we have to move we have to do things in order to you know kind of ward off what's coming and so he's he is graciously speaking to you and giving you warnings Mm -hmm. and, and, and God really showed me the value about dreams when he in, in Matthew 2 13 an angel spoke to Joseph in a dream so something as intimate intimate as Jesus's birth God could have spoke to Joseph any way right. to talk to him about Jesus's birth and I thought man that's the first way in the New Testament, bam, there's a dream. And, and when you just ponder that fact in Matthew 2, 13, wow, that's how much God wants to speak to me. If he did it to Joseph and he did it for Mary and these people, why would he not speak to me in that realm? And also another dream was given for the protection of the Savior. So Jesus couldn't even went to the cross if it wasn't for the dream to move him. That's so good. And that was specific in that text. Like the instructions were very, very specific um, that he gave to Joseph, like from do not fear, marry her. She's pregnant by the Holy Spirit. She's having a son. I want you to name him Jesus. And oh, he's savior. I mean, specific instructions all in a dream that if he wouldn't have listened to, you're right, that's so good. He wouldn't even have, have went to the cross so that's that's what i say like sometimes dreams can be literal and though i i believe there's just a different anointing in my experience you can describe how you feel about this jody but in my experience if it's literal like very specific like what, what joseph perceived there's such a weight on it that you just know that you just know that you know that's a real dream it's coming to pass there is no if ands or buts it's not something i need interpretation on the anointing is just it, it doesn't leave your spirit it's just weight and is is that how you felt it or is it felt a different way for you jody no it's exactly like that like i know when they're god dreams even if i don't like them 
and I've mm -hmm. shared some of them. We've talked about different dreams that we've had. And I know like if it's God, I just know. And usually it is. Um, and that's, you know, for specific reasons. But usually when I have a dream, it is God. I very rarely get dreams that are not God. And, yeah. and I don't always remember my dreams. Sometimes it's a little fuzzy. But when it's real clear or when I'm waking mm -hmm. up, and I'm specifically like able to write down exactly what happened. I know God's talking to me and I take it, I do take it very seriously. Yeah. Amen. Me too. Me too. Um, I, the Lord would just kept showing me as, as I seen, he spoke to Joseph twice about the protection of Jesus Christ and the birth of Jesus and then the protection, how much value that we need to place just like Joseph did on listening because if we miss the message, then we're, we can miss some very, very, I mean, just think about if Joseph would have missed the point to marry Mary and then like, no, oh, she was pregnant with somebody else and he didn't respond to that dream. I mean, we wouldn't have our savior. <laughs> that, that's, a really yeah, that's, a, that's a big deal. And also Joseph would not have paid attention to his dream and just said, okay, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying in my hometown. Right. That is interesting. And God trusted that level of communication to a dream like that, that Joseph would take it seriously, that he would listen. Think if you have that, if like you had a dream and it's like, get up right now.